What if you're going to copy a file from one folder on your computer to another? You quickly hit Ctrl C on your file, then Ctrl V at the destination. Instead of reaching for the mouse, right clicking, finding the right menu item, and then doing it all over again for the pasting. So I've been trying to find out what more I can do with this BWKB1 to get the most out of the $50 that I invested in it. As you all can see, this is just about as minimalist as they come. This is what is referred to as a 60% keyboard. Okay, it's a bit more than 60% because it has 63 keys, including the arrow keys. But its footprint is uh, much less than most other 60% keyboards that you might find out there. It's also a mechanical keyboard uh, rocking the Gateron Brown switches. For those of you friends who are wondering what in the solar system Gateron Brown means, just stick around because towards the end of this video I'm going to give you the sound test you always ask for. So, how much faster can you get using such a keyboard for the most part and just occasionally using your mouse? Okay, let's make a hypothetical situation. Let's send an email to my supervisor over in the hospital or school for that matter. So how fast could I accomplish that task on my PC using the BWKB1 for the most part? Let's start out with a clean desktop as you can see. So instead of the many clicks involved, I just hit the Windows key on my keyboard and start typing the word Gmail. So over here on Chrome, if you hit Ctrl L, it lets you highlight the search bar or the URL bar. And you can type the name of the website that you'd like to access. And uh, if you hit Ctrl Enter, it adds the .com over there. And so we hit Compose. And just before we begin typing the email, let me share with you some other nifty little tricks. If we wanted to open a new tab for some reason, Ctrl T does the magic. When we have a bunch of tabs open, Ctrl 1 through 8 will cycle through the open tabs and Ctrl 9 will always jump to the last open tab on the very right. And to close the tabs, Ctrl W is the answer. Even as we write the mail, you can see that we are not perfect. We do make mistakes when you are typing. But if you wanted to like eradicate a whole word, instead of clicking backspace several times, you could just control delete. Another tip is if you'd like to go up one paragraph, instead of just hitting the arrow up key, which will go up one line at a time, hold down the control while hitting your up arrow and that goes up one paragraph at a time, saving you some precious time. If you hold down shift with the arrow keys, it lets you select words. And as you can see, the right arrow selects one letter at a time. But if you did the down arrow, it would select the whole paragraph and the whole sentence at a time. And with that, we are ready to hit send and this email will be landing in my supervisor's inbox in just a little bit. But let's finish this video first. While we are at it, at first it may appear like this 60% keyboard may not have all the keys you might need. But it really accomplishes what those 105 key massive keyboards do by just tucking away the less used functions under the function key and they are printed here on the sides of the keycaps. For example, page up and page down can be accessed by holding function and K or function and comma respectively. With the Bluetooth version 5 that this keyboard has on board, you can connect to up to five different devices at once. For example, I can connect to both my PC over here and my tablet and hitting function plus Q through T lets me cycle through the devices I'd like to use the keyboard on. And for good measure, the KB1 also comes with USB Type-C on board and hitting the function plus tab will let you decide whether you want to go wired or wireless. And for all of you RGB people out there, there's all bells and whistles here with the 19 effects this keyboard supplies. You can have it looking like a Christmas tree if you want. All you need is just hit function plus backstroke. Is it called backstroke? Whatever this, this other stroke that looks the other way around, you know. Okay, let's get back to our email before we get too absorbed with this keyboard and forget the pressing matter at hand. Now, just like on any other web page, if you wanted to, you could scroll down by just hitting the space bar. And if for some reason you wanted to reload the page, Control R does the honors. So now, the only time I'm gonna use my mouse is to smash this compose button. 
And talking about smashing buttons, you guys know what to do to that like button just under this video if you are getting value so far. Those are just a few of the shortcuts that you can use to get the most out of your keyboard. And believe you me, once you get used to them, it's really much faster to accomplish tasks than when you keep reaching for your mouse every now and then. And now we get to the elusive key sounds. Take a listen. That's what the Gatron Brown switches sound like. They are somewhere between the more clicky blues and the linear, more silent reds. And that's what I went with. And just so you know, the switches on this BWKB1 are not replaceable. I guess that would be too much to ask for a $50 keyboard. But the keycaps, which are made of double shot ABS plastic so that the light shines through, are replaceable. And that's why you'll find a keycap puller in the box together with this neat white braided USB type C cable. The keys feel smooth to the touch and the slight incline makes for an ergonomic typing experience. So I have little to complain about. I could also increase the angle a little bit by opening the feet on the BWKB1. The manufacturer also claims that the 1900 mAh battery in this keyboard will be good for 18 to 20 hours with the lights on and up to 10 days if you turn them off. But I'm yet to really push my typing frenzy that far to find out. And there's much more we could talk about over here like the IPX4 water resistance rating which should give me peace of mind if I splashed some, you know, water. On this keyboard it also comes in black for those of you who are not sure how long it will take before they turn their white one brown and uh, the build quality is quite impressive for the price though it's mostly made of plastic it has an aluminium plate that gives it some good weight and rigidity and that's not the end of the story the bigger keys like the space key have some very good stabilizers and uh, that's worth mentioning so that's it for today everyone i hope you have learned something and enjoyed the video if you'd like one of these the link is in the description down below uh thanks a lot for watching and as always uh where where is that i guess somewhere over there no pressure